go really, really far with this drill versus it's, we're doing it pretty almost static. And you can do it in constant motion and make it a very high level drill also, which is, it looks like you're doing a lesson or, or bouting, but it's the same thing. But we'll, do, we'll just do the one more step. So we'll start with the first step. So very first thing, she does her lunge, she recovers and she retreats one step. Then, depending where my blade was, she made an attack after she advanced. So she did advance, I did no reaction. She changed tempo on the back foot and extended and lunged. So remember, she starts slow and she goes fast. And if she doesn't go fast enough, I will try to parry it if she's going to be late. Let's say she goes really slow, just one tempo. It's not going to work. I'm just going to parry it. So she has to change tempo to hit me. That's the first thing. Second thing was she does the advance, and as soon as she does the advance, I retreat. And she can do another advance right away, and I might retreat. She can do another advance, and then she would change tempo on hit. So it gets a little more fluid, and then we can go start going faster and faster with that. So you don't have to wait so long, and you don't have to reset by going backwards or anything like that. So it's just one after another. The next thing we did was we did what? Who remembers? We searched for the blade. It was a search. Search. So she took her slow step. I searched early, and she disengages the lunges. She took her slow step. I stepped back. She took her slow step. I searched. She takes a slow step, I go back. She takes a slow step, I do nothing. Ah! She would have gone through it, right? She takes a slow step, go away. Slow step, good, okay? So, we've got a search, we got a search also. That was the third thing. What else do we have? Stepping back slowly. Yeah. Treating at different times. Yeah. Right. The last thing was that I showed was different tempos of when I retreat to just kind of screw her up. So she advances, I retreat immediately. She advances, I retreat a little late. Now she's not sure. Should I attack? Should I not attack? Then we said, well, she could then change her blade position if she thinks that might happen. So that she could make some sort of adjustment to it with a longer attack, and you know, you just could go with it, because I stayed. So she still is kind of late, and then I go, boom. So it was a little late, but she changed her blade position and got a longer attack that way, and also snuck it in, hiding her blade. Because don't forget, if I'm delaying a little bit, and I'm standing there, I could possibly pick up her blade, because I'm still really kind of close, and she's coming forward. So she hides the blade, then I can't so either she goes immediately, which I can't take the blade, it's too, too fast, or there's that in-between time where I can pick it up, and so she has to hide the blade. We found that was a better solution than the beat attacks. Right? We found this is a better solution. So there's that. The last a action, one, or one more, come over here, would be as she takes the slow step, I start to attack. So now it's going to be pretty hard for her to step back and parry. But if she could, that would be nice. So it's the slower the step she takes now, the better, because she knows I might attack into a preparation. <laughs> so, yeah, so we can do that. So that would be the next thing is attacking into the preparation. It's a little hard for the coach. It's a little more work for the coach, but it's a good thing. So then you can also have her change her blade position. So she starts in the low position, let's say. And then if I attack, attack on the preparation, she can do four or six, depending. Then she can do either or in the low position. She could start in the high position like she was earlier. And then if I attack, she can carry four. And if I attack, she could do a seven. That's eight. Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, she could sweep me up and hit me. There's all these variations you can do. It's up to you. You pick, pick what you want. All right, I'll show the saber what to do. <laughs> saber is another animal with this stuff. Yeah. Okay, any questions on this? So try to do attack in the preparation now. 
Try to have your students start in different positions. To make that low next. You can start in different positions. From your, for your, if you know you're going to attack, you can start here, here, here. You can start in different places. Okay? You don't have to start everything here in the neutral six.